In this video, you'll learn how straightforward it is to swap one class for another when they implement the same interface in PHP. This is something that PHP frameworks like Laravel and Symfony make use of extensively. So far in this series, we've added a router that uses controller classes as handlers. The methods in these classes return a response object, which is then passed to an emitter object that outputs the response. The emitter expects a response object that implements the PSR7 standard. So we should be able to pass any PSR7 response object to the emitter. This allows us to easily change which package we're using to create the response object. In the home controller, we're using the Guzzle PSR7 implementation. This is the code that runs when we request the home page, and at the moment this works as expected. We're importing the response class from the Guzzle package into the current namespace with this use statement. Before we try a different package, let's add an alias to this class when we import it. We then need to use that alias when we refer to this class. So in the return type declaration of the index method, and when we create the response object. When we run this, nothing has changed. It still works as before. Now let's try this with a different package, but one that also implements PSR7. As we saw earlier, there are several packages that implement PSR7. Let's install another one, for example the Nihome PSR7 package. We'll do this on the command line using Composer. Back in the home controller, let's import the response class from this package into the current namespace. I'll assign an alias to this one too. Then let's change the index method's return type declaration to use this class, and also the line where we are creating the new response object. Note that these aliases are basically just labels. The reason I've assigned aliases to these two classes is because they're both named response and I wanted to make it obvious which class we were using. When we run this, this still works. The reason for this is that both packages implement the PSR7 interface for response objects. The emitter package uses other methods that are part of this interface. For example, to get the status code, headers, body and so on. So as long as a package implements this interface, it will work with other packages that expect it. Another example is the stream we're creating to set the response body. Although this utils class is part of the guzzle package, the stream object that it returns also implements an interface that's part of PSR7. So we can safely pass this to the with body method of the response object even though the response object itself was created by another package. We could create the stream object from the same package, but we'll look at a better option for creating objects later on when we look at factories. One thing we can't do is mix the response object classes in the type declarations. For example, let's change the return type declaration of the index method back to the guzzle response object. When we run this, we get an error, saying that the return value must be a guzzle response object, but a response object from the other class was returned instead. There is a way to avoid having to change the return type declaration when changing packages. The actual PSR7 interface that the packages we've installed implement is this one. So we can change the return type declaration to this interface and it will be valid for any package that implements it. A package that contains this interface is automatically installed when you install an implementation of it. So let's add a use statement to import this interface into the current namespace. Then let's change the return type declaration of the index method to this interface. Now when we run this, it works. Let's change the response object we're creating to one from the other package. 
And this still works. This also works for type hints of method arguments. For example, in the product controller, in addition to PSR7 response objects, we're also referencing a PSR7 request object, even though we're not actually using it in the body of the method. So let's import the interfaces for the PSR7 response and request. Then let's use those interfaces in the method definitions. Now that we're using interfaces for the type declarations, we no longer need to import the server request class from the Guzzle package, as we were only using that class for the type declaration. In the browser, both methods in the product controller still work. So type hinting to an interface allows us to easily switch between implementations of that interface only having to change the class we're using. So if there is an interface available, it's always recommended to use that for the type declaration, as it makes the code much more flexible and it doesn't tie us to using a specific implementation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.